what's uh, the dynamic for a game like this? I mean, would you, I would assume you'd rather be playing this in November than in December. Yeah, in a perfect world, but you know, but it's good. And, and the flip side, when you look at it from you know all angles, it's a full day of just SECs. Obviously, got a great league, uh, the great coaches, great players, and so, uh, and obviously our league. You know, we're I guess if you look at Ken Palm, all that we've been one for the majority of the year, flip flop with the Big Ten, one two sometimes, but. Uh, it's a great, you know, chance for our, both our leagues to get showcased on ESPN all day. But uh, should we need to we need to win an SEC uh, game? You know, my last three years we've, and I was thinking about. It, I said, well, we played Texas A&M on the road. They won the SEC that year. We played Tennessee last year. They won the SEC. Uh, you know, and then we played at Vanderbilt, which is a tough place to play. And so this is our third out of fourth time we're on the road, uh, playing against a really good team, really good team. No Kermit Well played against his teams every year at Middle, whether we scrimmaged or played. Uh, home and home, and got a lot of respect for him and what he does. What do you, when you recruited Mariel, what did you expect? Uh, a lot of things. Uh, experience, uh, a winning, bringing a winning culture, you know, adding to our culture from that standpoint. Um, great character, uh, and um, I think he's, just, he's exceeded really everything. You know, I didn't know his, you know, you don't know their actual work ethic until they actually get here. His work ethic's off the charts. He's already been in here again shooting this morning he's he's in there religiously he's as good as you know i put him up there with like the matt thomases and that nas longs guys that just you no know, niangs just guys that are in here and just have just a unbelievable desire to get better and um you know you look at him statistically he's i mean i think what was the one stat only 10 players in the last 10 yeah. years have shot 50 40 and 50, 40, 80, in 85 yeah and so good for him, and uh, hopefully, you know, he can continue that on. What was the recruiting process like with him? Um, you know, he's actually he's pretty quick. You know, we just kind of jumped on him right away. You know, we had a couple scholarships, and, um, you know, I'd love in the perfect world, I'd love to sit two guys every year. You know, I think it helps in a lot of ways, um, you know, if you feel good about your roster. And, um, you know, we jumped on him right away. I think, you know, he had signed with Marquette out of high school, and so, you know, we were a little bit worried if that Big East rule to where he can't go back to the Big East uh, would be in play. Somebody was asking me about this the other day. I think Fran and then when we were on uh, before the game, we were worried because he had a really good relationship with Cooley at Providence that, that if that rule went through or they were able to get a waiver mm -hmm. from that rule that we may be uh, number two. And so, uh, but if we just jumped on him quick and hard and, you know, kind of talked to him about style of play and expanding his offensive game and then on his end, he can bring some things from a defensive standpoint and from a character and work ethic standpoint that we needed to add after losing so many guys. You guys are top 25 in adjusted defense, so that's a number you quoted out mm -hmm. preseason. But you obviously weren't happy the other night with it. What what have you liked about your defense for three and a half weeks, and where's the biggest area you want to see it improve? Yeah, you know, I'm going to go over it with the guys because obviously you lose Monday night, and, and I was probably as – frustrated or upset after that game as I've been just because I thought it was a game that we had a great opportunities to win. We played really well um, for about 30 minutes and we had a four minute stretch from we're going to show the guys from 12 to 7 where we weren't good um, you know at all on both ends of the floor and, uh, and that cost us the game and uh, it's a tough place to win and obviously they got Coach Self and, and some some really good good pieces and so um, but what I'm going to show the guys today is just hey guys this is where we were a year ago. You know, I've got all the numbers, whether it's Ken Palm we talk about, or BPI, or the new NET, or um, all the stuff. And uh, this is where, we, where, where we're at right now today. And we're not playing as good as we can play. That's what I'm excited about. I got to coach better. They got to they play better. We're not even at our ceiling. And we've got a lot of improvement to do. Um, the biggest thing the other night, we just didn't guard the dribble. I mean, bottom line, we weren't, we weren't good enough. But but it started with our ball pressure. It started with our pickup point. It started with our ball, you know ball screen defense. You can go on and on and on. And then Lawson was was phenomenal. I mean he made big shot after big shot and big play after big play. Uh, and so uh, we've got to get back to the next couple of days of really really competing and working on guarding a dribble and being more aggressive in our switches and keeping the ball out of the middle of the floor. And we know our rules. We we didn't do a great job of of uh, sticking to them the other day. And so. Uh, but our, our defensive numbers have been good. Uh, when you look at our defensive field goal percentage, when you look at three-point field goal defensive percentage, I mean, you know, we're like 14 in offense, you know, in the country and 22 in defense. And I think we're, we're actually better defensively in league play than we are offensively. 
you know, and so, uh, you know, we lost that game. You know, I know everybody, like, I like talking offense, but we, we didn't get stops. I said if we held them under 40, we'd win that game, and uh, that would have held true. For the dribble penetrate, penetration, it seemed like they had a lot of success with the handoffs. Was that communication, it's style, just, that's or just, technique? It's or just, what? hey, they did a great job of spacing us out. Yeah. You know, so give them their credit from that standpoint. But B, it has a lot to do with we we weren't up guarding the ball. You know, we, we weren't we weren't jump switching them like we were supposed to. We weren't in gaps. I mean, we just weren't very good defensively. Is there a virus going through the team? There was. I think I don't know if it's still going. I mean we had a bunch of guys sick. George was sick the other day, Zion, some of the coaches. I don't know if it was just a bug, something we ate. <laughs> no, I'm good. I feel great. You know, my stomach's messed up every day, so it's, I'm I'm fine. Um, you know, Is that why George? You know, you yeah, said he you know, played, yeah, he could have played. I just, I, I just, I, you know, I just kept going back with Cam. Okay. You know, okay. Um, Which brings so. up another point. You know, probably we've hammered this with yeah. you before, but we can talk about it again. How yeah. do you, how do you keep him from being so aggressive? Cameron, and I know you want him to be aggressive, Cameron. Yeah. I thought it. I, see, I, I look at it the other way. I thought he got his, um, got his fouls from being passive, and okay. being, being passive. You know, first play on Lawson. You know, he wasn't in his stance. At the elbow, okay. got a quick foul. Second foul wasn't on him. Second foul was in transition. He was trying to challenge at the rim. The other three fouls, I can't remember from the second half. Uh, you know, I didn't. The first two was the ones I really looked at. Uh, I thought he got it from passivity more than okay. than um, than being aggressive mm -hmm. in nature. You know, that's when I mean passive. I mean fundamentally sound, being in a stance, uh, being trying in to play position. catch up from what he yep, what you know, he wasn't doing. And right. so. Uh, you know, and so maybe I should have gone with George, but I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't question every single thing. I mean, we've done, we've done a couple things right, I think, this year. Um, nobody so we, said. <laughs> so, you know. Those are boring to talk about. So yeah. Right? So. How much pressure can when you talk about how much they struggled to stop the dribble? How much pressure can that put on guys like Cam and? George well, that's the that's the one thing, and, and I think we've got the one good thing is you know we can play different ways to where you know Mike's at the five, we've got to be better guarding a dribble. You know, when Cameron and George, we can have a little bit more slippage. You know, George can really really contest shots and block shots, and Cameron obviously can too. Um, but it shouldn't have got to that point. Like I said, credit them. You know, they you know they run a lot of similar stuff when you're four out that that we like to run and. Um, the problem that we had is, man, their physicality and stuff, we didn't get downhill. We played on the outside the three-point line. They got downhill. We weren't physical. We weren't aggressive at the, at, the, at, the, at the pickup point. You know, we were too flat. We were off the ball. I mean, we just weren't very good defensively. And credit them. Garrett's terrific. I think he's really taken a big step for them. And then Dotson was terrific defensively. And then Lawson was, was good. And Vic made some big plays. And, you know, it's hard to win there, but you know we had a, we had we had a we had a great opportunity to finish and we didn't get it done. It seemed like Grimes was making a effort to guard Nick further away from the ball to get the ball out of his hands. Did that mess your guys off or take you guys out of what you wanted to do offensively? Well, Dotson was Dotson, Dotson, yeah, yeah, Dotson was, yeah, Dotson, yeah, yeah, he did a great job. Yeah. He did a good job. You know, I thought that was a big key to the game. I know you've hit the pause button on the Big Twelve, it was a big mm -hmm. SEC thing, but what is your what are your overviews on the Big Twelve? On the Big Twelve. Right yeah. I just got to stay the course. I told the guys the other day, man, here's where we sit. You know, we're a game behind Kansas. We've got 11 to go. Uh, we got to go play Ole Miss this week. It's a great opportunity to, to, get a, to get a really, really good road win that can help us in a lot of facets going down the road. Uh, but then we're coming back next week for two really big home games. And it's a quick week again because it's another Wednesday, Saturday, Monday. And so, you know, West Virginia starting on Wednesday. And it seems like we're always playing them after the, after the – um, you know, after the Big 12 SEC game. And so, uh, you know, we got to be ready to go. And, you know, every week you know, there's a lot of Kansas hasn't played Texas Tech yet. They haven't played Kansas State yet. I mean, there's a lot of teams we haven't played. We've played Kansas and Oklahoma State already. We haven't played four or five of the teams in the league. And so, man, there's going to be a lot more jockeying to go. And, you know, who can stay the course? Who can stay together? Who can handle, you know, all the adversity that they're hit? Who can manage their guys the best? Um, I, I like our group. I text them all yesterday, man. I love our team, man. I, I think we have a chance to do some really, really good things. You mentioned your familiar, familiarity with Kermit's teams. For somebody that maybe isn't more familiar, what do you kind of consider the hallmarks? Of yeah, style, well, well, first off, I thought, you know, he, he did an incredible job at, at middle, you know. I mean, he won tournament games the last couple of years. Uh, number one, if just start on offensive, on the offensive end, I think their pace of play, not necessarily that saying in transition and running, but just the way they cut and the way they move. I think they really, really do a great job of that area. Uh, they run a lot of, uh, 
you know, some twirl action, some Iverson action, but a lot of it's some ball screen motion uh, that he'll run. You know, defensively, you know, they'll show a lot of one three one back to two three. Uh, but they're going to be really tough-minded or they really hard hedge. They're going to be aggressive in passing lanes. And, um, you know, he, he's, he's just a really, really good coach. And I think he's, he's really well-respected across the profession. And it was kind of like when we played at, you know, Murray and Middles, kind of you played each other to where um, that kind of lets you know, hey, if you, were, if you played well against them or you beat them, that you had a chance to be pretty good. Good thing is, is whenever we played, the road team always won, whether it was a scrimmage or a home game. <laughs> or whether it was uh, normal, so hopefully that holds holds for them.